Welcome to Flashpoint Friday, a weekly series where I select one game at random from Flashpoint's archives and give it a try. And maybe, just maybe, the game might actually be spooky. <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome back to Flashpoint Friday. And today we have a game, you can see by the loading screen here, called Halloween Jack Candy Thief. And it looked like, looks like it was put on by girlgames.com and differencegames.com. Now, as is per usual lately, I've been checking out these links to see if these sites are still up. I already know that Girl Games still works from a previous game we covered in this series. And I just checked out Difference Games, and their site is still up. However, in the evolution of the games market from browser to mobile games, they have taken all of their browser games off their website. And it, the website is now basically a an advertising front for their for their mobile market which they've pivoted entirely to which is kind of a shame honestly it's yet it's yet one more example of the internet losing a bit of its history honestly but at least that's what programs like flashpoint are for so once again they serve a vital preservation service i feel but anyway, let's continue. Let's see what this is all about. Okay. So... What does this do? Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. They give a little bit of credit to at least the artwork for this. The person who... person who made it. So... Let's just go in. Ah, okay. Yeah, so... This makes sense with the whole Difference Game... Uh, the Difference Game uh, website. It looks like a hidden object title. Or a uh, Spot the Difference title, that is. So... Uh, for those people who may have grew up with... Like, Highlights Magazine or something like that. I'm sure they're very familiar with this. So you just... Take a look and spot the differences between the pictures here. Uh, looks like I got three right off the bat. Not sure how many differences there are, but we'll just see how this goes. The presentation is pretty darn, pretty darn nice, I'd say. Um, let's see, because I like the artwork. It's basically just one picture with slight alterations, but it's, uh, you know, well done. I don't know if this was, I don't know if this is digitally made artwork or if it was handmade or some combination thereof. Um, I am, I am, I am no artist, so I, I can't really tell these things, but, um, as I mentioned before, it can be difficult to narrate and play a game at the same time, so I'm probably missing something totally obvious here. But... Let me just... Oh, okay, yeah, for example. And... Hmm... I'm not seeing much else. I don't know if it has, like, some sort of win state notification or not, if you've gotten them all. Oh, well, here we go. Oh, okay. I see. So it just automatically... T okay. Well, this is actually pretty nice. So it so there's more than just one. It's, it's like a series. This is, this is pretty good. I'm liking this. 
I can tell there was kind of there was more there was more thought and care put into this than a lot of than a lot of other games of this type. So let's see. I'm gonna play this for a little while longer because I am I am genuinely enjoying myself with this. This is this is pretty neat. Yeah, it's kind of a shame that a game like this isn't isn't available online anymore. Um some discoloration differences there. Yeah, and I kind of like it how the picture kind of automatically updates to match the other one whenever you spot the difference. So... Oh yeah, okay. Hmm... Okay, yeah, there's that. Very nice. See one right off the bat. See two right off the bat, in fact. Three, even. I think I'm getting a little better at finding these, these different images. And the music, even though it is kind of on a, a short-ish loop, like is so often the case with these these Flash games, because they had limited file sizes. It's, you know, uh, it's not a bad... It's uh, not a bad loop. I think it would take a while for me to get tired of it. It's not like some, like some tiles we played here, where it's like literally three seconds, and it grates on your nerves after just 30 seconds. Yeah, the, the illustrations, they kind of remind me of what you'd see in maybe like a, a children's book, like a high quality children's book from like the 1990s. I don't know why, it just kind of reminds me of that. Uh, I was, I'm gonna age myself a bit here, I consider myself a child of the 90s. Um, that's when I had a lot of my formative childhood years, so... Books with artwork similar to this were somewhat, somewhat common back in those days. But I'm sure you didn't tune in to hear me rambling about my childhood, so we'll just continue on with the game. I don't know how long this game lasts, but... Seems like there might be some narrative behind these pictures too. Um, you know, the child, the child here, the trick or treater, it's gone trick or treating, and then runs across a monster, and he's now feeding it candy to placate it or slow it down, something to that extent. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, depending on how things go, I, I think I might play this through to its might play it, play this through through to its conclusion. Um, I don't know if I'll keep recording for the whole thing. I might might do a quick edit here, oh. just in case. Just in case the viewers don't want to sit through this this whole playthrough. Uh, we'll see. Okay, I've only got one difference left. It's that. <laughs> okay. And... There. Yeah, I've gotten... A bit more adept, I think, at finding where these things go, or where where the differences are. That is. Let me see. I I say that as I am now a bit stumped for a bit, but that's okay. I don't know if there's like a real like. Uh, doesn't seem like there's like a failure state to speak of. Instead, looks like you're kind of judged on your score. So if you play through to the end, I'm sure it's a matter of trying to 
be as accurate as possible because you saw there for a couple of misclicks there I, I lost like five points each so currently I have a score of 163 there is a hints feature down here so if I really get stumped then I can maybe check it out hopefully it's not a link to their website because well they're not gonna they're not gonna be able to help me since the site as as it used to exist is no longer around but okay and four more differences so it looks like there's about five differences per page that one there Hmm. One there. Yeah, this one's just missing. Missing across. One left. What could it be? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. That one there. Almost done, I think. Story seems to be kind of uh, reaching a narrative conclusion here. Hmm. Okay, got one there. Just one more left. Just got to find out where it is. I think I found it. All right, there we go. So we did it. All right, so what is Halloween Jack Candy Thief? It's a charming little spot the difference game with uh, pretty nice artwork. So... And the music's decent, too. Um, yeah, I would say check this out. This one was pretty darn enjoyable. I liked it a lot. So, all right, so that'll do it, I think. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Flashpoint Friday, and take care, everyone.